Alright, so we did some heavy pruning on these trees that were super overgrown from when we moved in. Um, hard to believe. I did cut off about two feet, three feet from the top of this tree. It's an apple. I'm not sure if it's the Fuji or the Gala, but I've been getting a lot of growth. So I know there's suckers and stuff. You want to keep the middles open and whatnot, but a lot of growth on the branches. Growth, growth, growth. Like a lot of stuff here. I got some already forming. I got a lot up there. A lot here, a couple there. So I got plenty of apples forming on this tree, some branch. So apparently, I guess for this season, I can cut back a whole lot more because I know it's gonna thrive. Like I've learned that things are starting to regrow on these branches that I didn't think they were growing. So I can cut them shorter, make this tree shorter, and then hopefully have a lot more apples for my harvests straight up and down. Got to figure out if I want to keep this as a split or if I want to make it just the one liter tree on this one um, and then shorten it. It might be this side. Who knows? Don't know yet. So let's go over to the other apple tree. That one's here too. This one was pruned. Same thing as that one. Whatever that one is, this one is. Uh, this one could probably get a little bit more of the interior branches off, but I trimmed this one nicely in like a pyramid style. So this one should be my better tree production one. I still think I might get rid of this section and leave that top leader going straight up at the end of the season, so that's okay. Some of our figs that we had taken from the base of the main fig tree, so we dug up and we had roots, we cut, we sawed, took the whole root set, replanted them to see what was going on. So this guy, he's still alive, he's just not doing anything, but he's attached to this one who is starting to flower and bud and do all the fun stuff that's here. So we did a couple of these to see like what was on. This one's here, and these are all like seven or eight year old, maybe older uh, pieces that were on the exterior of the, the tree. So this one's alive, it hasn't done anything yet, but he's very bendable, so I know he's okay. And then this one seems to be the one that seems like it's gonna thrive the most. It's doing great, it's already got a little one on there. Some leaf action there, some leaf action coming on up here. And then we have another one over here. So we'll see what comes of this one. It's alive, it just hasn't done anything yet. And then the main tree is here. So like I said, I cut a lot of the branches out that were in here, dug them out specifically this side, things that were growing horizontal, a lot from, from this side, this side. And now I've got a lot of new guys growing in their place. Um, along with poison ivy, which I don't like, but yeah, so I've got these guys, my mature tree, which is gonna get cut back probably to eight feet total at the end of the season. And then we have our nectarine tree doing its thing.